my name is Bill Eisenhart. I'm a retired band director and a clarinet player. And today I'm going to talk to you about hand position, how important it is, how to improve your hand position, how to practice it, and hopefully it will help you. So, how to use this video. What I would do with this video is I would pause it a lot. Almost every example that I play, I would like for you to push pause and you try it. And if you're not sure, go back a little bit, watch it again, listen to it. If yours comes out just like mine, great. If it doesn't, play it slower. Try to make it as perfect as possible, but play it multiple times. So you're going to be pausing this a lot, and it's okay what I want you to do. Hand position and finger shape is really important on the clarinet. Your fingers need to be gently curved. Really, no flat fingers, no severe bends. The placement of the fingers, the end of your finger needs to be in the middle of the key. No overhang, please. Does not work. I know this for a fact. The round part of the end of your finger, that little bump there, goes right in the middle of the hole. You need to plug those holes fast and quick so the notes will pop right out. Thumb rest placement, not on your nail, not on your knuckle, right in between that flat place. It must be there. Okay, when you play the notes on a clarinet, your fingers do not bend. It's almost all this back knuckle back here. So your finger is basically just going like this. So you'll notice, if I can show you here, yeah, see the shape of my finger does not change. It's pretty much the same all the time. So I'm not using those knuckles. I'm only using the knuckles back here on the back of my hand to make that finger go up and down. So the first thing to practice is some one finger trills. Stand in front of a mirror. If you can have a mirror right next to you here, it'd be great if you could look at the video, watch me, pause the video, look at the mirror and watch yourself. I'm just gonna practice some one finger trills. pinky moving with your third finger that's quite all right the tenon that connects those two fingers to their muscles are tied together so it's almost impossible to move that finger without your pinky going too don't worry about it. it's great now I'm going to try some three note patterns <laughs> try some scale patterns where I'm going to play three or four or five notes at once. I'm going to try an F scale. I like F. It has B flat in it. on dropping more than one finger at a time. I'm going to try some two finger drops. What I'm trying to avoid is one finger getting on the hole before the other. Try some three finger drops. My fingers are not really squeezing the keys, but it's fairly firm action. So they set on there and plug up all those holes and open those keys at the same time. Drop the fingers of my right hand 
one at a time, two at a time, three at a time, and then all four. <laughs> try open G and I'm going to go one finger, two fingers. Each of these exercises you should do multiple times, looking in a mirror and go on to something else. If you could develop a routine that you would do every day, watching your fingers while you play, it would be great, would really help you. I'm going to drop the left fingers in place with my right fingers down. So these fingers are going to be all down. I'm going to play just like I was playing G to C. <laughs> with these all these four are going all at the same time second finger down I have two down here going to low A down to low G pinky down for low F now I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing as I just did, only I'm going to have my register key on when I start putting these fingers on. So I'm going to play, ah, open G, but when I put these fingers on, I'm going to touch the register key at the same time. So now I'm going to get an upper register note. Same finger action as I did before. Second finger down. Same exact exercise, but now I'm going to start with my finger on the A key, and I'm going to have to slip off there and get onto those holes and the register key all at once. Starting with first finger on the right hand, A key on the left hand. And now I'm going from B flat up to F. When I'm playing B flat, I have the register key on, and my thumb just rolled up off the thumb hole. Then when I slide the A key down, the thumb goes on there. So I get... Going to high E. D. the secret right there. There's the secret going from B flat to C. So if I play F, open G, put these down, A, B flat, C. Look in the mirror. Practice a few of these exercises every day. Good luck.